My name is Frida Malik. I am a manager. We job share as managers. Um, Cycle Psych, I'll probably introduce herself in a minute. Um, we're both the managers of this organisation called CAS. CAS, K H A A S, means special in many different languages. Um, Urdu, Punjabi, Hindi, Bengali, CAS means special. We help and support special needs children and their families in lots of different ways. Mm. My name is Saika um, and I'm, I job share with Frida as manager of this project also. I mean, when initially this house was set up, it was in direct response by social workers and some South Asian parents who had language barriers and who found it difficult to communicate with mainstream organisations. So they came together with some people from the... Um, in the city health, I think yeah. it. In the city health. And Just a handful of yeah. families, handful of two, mm -hmm. three families who are disabled children, like Saika mm -hmm. said, uh, like mm -hmm. cultural barriers, mm -hmm. language barriers, mm -hmm. new into the into the country, mm -hmm. no English, and really, really struggling as to what to do, mm -hmm. you know, uh, for, with mm -hmm. their children. And um, yeah, they mean created a little hub where South Asian families could come together and just sit and just have a cup of tea. Yeah. And um, because with disabled children, it's like a taboo subject, even with many minority groups now as well. And so they wanted to sort of like come together with parents of disabled children and sort of like, um, socialize, mm. do things together, maybe take the children out or just have some support, like mm. form a support network. Because I with think, the carers. yeah, and that I was the main thing. Is I mean, they, yeah. they started off like with a project where they started to learn to sew. Yeah, and that one of the main things was because many people don't want to come out of their homes. They actually brought ladies out of their home where they came together, learned a skill, and socialized with with other uh, parents who had disabled children. Mm. Those people who were there, two or three families, I think they set up in. <clears throat> excuse me. They set up in the uh, city farm, St. Rogue City Farm initially, <clears throat> and um, and got a group going. And then I think they did the, the I think that the health research came in, the community health um, and social services came in, did a little research, and uh, piloted a sort of project. And the cast was formed then, mm -hmm. and uh, since then it's from just going from strength to strength. And uh, we've mm -hmm. got I think over 180 families mm -hmm. who are um, registered with us. And um, like Saika said, the first thing they did was because when you when they come from their own countries, um, we wear our Asian clothes. There's nobody here who sew, so the first thing they did was to set up a little sewing group. And from that, lots and lots of families, lots of uh, carers came in, learned how to sew, and lots of those now carers have set up their own little businesses where they sew for other people. Um, but that is not the only thing that we do. Um, the list of things that we do here is. Um, just the main sort of activities is obviously we provide practical support mm -hmm. for the families and the disabled child, advice, advocacy, short educational courses. So we, we do sewing is the one that for the last 35 years is still happening. Um, still from very, a, popular. very popular and occasionally we used to be funded by the colleges. They used to provide the, the tutors from colleges. But over time, I think sometimes we've had funding, sometimes we've fundraised ourselves. At the moment, we're with community learning and there are accredited courses. So that's still doing really well. Uh, we've done childcare courses over the, over the years and we've got lots of our carers now who work for little nurseries and they're um, creche workers. Um, we do, how many, I mean, so many courses, I can't mm. sort of remember we've now. We've done maths, maths English, English, computer studies. ESOL. Oh, yes, ESOL, yeah. conversation ESOL. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. with, with the community, I think one of the biggest challenges that many people do face is the fact that that trust mm. factor. I think they are, they're, um, firstly, they're very scared to sort of tell you what is happening in their lives, and then, but it takes some time for them to actually realise that they can trust us, that whatever they speak about will stay in this office and we won't be telling everybody everybody about this so that trust thing it, that initial step when they take that initial step towards us and learn that we do keep everything confidential and that we do listen to what uh, what is going on in their lives 
and do try to sort of solve 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 these issues together mm. with them. Mm. That 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 was a challenge initially. Our response in our story because um, because of our carers. Our carers are really really passionate about what we do. They appreciate what we do. The support that we give them, they appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, they, it, we feel, we've always felt that they're behind us. Mm -hmm. um, and with every family, we make them feel special too, mm -hmm. because we listen to their needs and mm -hmm. we try to help them in every way we can.